it to set to 83. But I'll put it back. I just wanted you guys to see. Let's cool it down. I'm supposed to go back to mode. Put it to cool. And put it on something. Hello, it's La Rosa again. Today I am reviewing this Google Learning Thermostat. It was actually gifted to us by Reliant Electricity Company for switching over to them. <laughs> I'm laughing because I've seen how much my bills are. <laughs> so, okay, let's concentrate on this. This is actually nice of them. I don't think any electricity company has gifted us anything. And they are the third people I've ever had to, you know, switch over to switch over to despite having a solar that's the topic for another day okay you guys let's talk about this it says it programs itself then pays for itself see button for details i'm guessing because you can control it from far away wherever you are so we're going to be installing and all that stuff so over here it says it's eco-friendly and all that over here it's very portable small and portable there that 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 let's open it up so this is nice because i already have a google smart home like i have the google nest hub you know the lights that i connected with google home stuff <laughs> and i'm gonna pronounce some of this things for you That's nice. I've seen it in people's home, but man, I never knew I would, I mean, I knew I would own one later, but I wasn't so ready. That's the back for the regular Type C, um, no, regular Android charger or plug in. And then whatever this is. Use the Google Nest app. Or whatnot and whatnot. Welcome home. Warranty. 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 I got that. So, ooh. have the screws and this number thingy, controlling thingy. That I guess this goes over where the wires are and all that. This goes where the wires are and all that. Your screw thingy, I guess. Whatever this is supposed to do. Yeah. That is screwdriver or flat mouth. I'm a girl. I'm a girl. I don't know. So a flat mouth screwdriver or something. It is beautiful. <laughs> more screws we have that we have that and this thing that holds the screw so that's another screw in there total of six two short ones and two long ones to the back and then all this other stuff this like stuff you can press okay this is the part where we read the instructions and set it up real good i may not be the one setting it up i definitely will not be the one setting it up but that's what i said last time so let's go set it up this is our old timer start before we even got this house this is the one we're using right now and our head is not even working properly so this came when i really needed it so that's the one we're using, the Honeywell. 
the video is already long <laughs> the video is already long i haven't even done anything okay so hopefully i fast forward and do voiceover or whatever for the rest of the videos but thank you so much for stopping by please subscribe if you haven't at this point stay tuned before you start first thing you want to do is you know turn off your switch like this is by the furnace or at your circuit breaker just flip it turn it off and this is our outside circuit breaker box mm -hmm. you can also turn it off here by flipping the um, ac switch and then turn it off if you don't want to use the one inside so we're taking off the thermal start and this is the face when we take off the whole thing then we'll start installing so you have to figure out the way your own thermal start comes off for hours it's like so Let's take a picture for, you know, for reference, so you remember where the wires are connected to. So these are the wire labels. They already made it easier. If not, we would have had to just get something to label it and then put it. We will label it and then take off the base. That way you know where, what wires are coming from where and what what. And this is also for people who want to go back to another version. They will know exactly what wire belongs to where. So that's what we're doing now. In this case, color blue is label C for common. And then the color yellow is labeled with a white sticker. Now we have our color yellow for Y and then our color blue for the C wire. So G color green for the G wire which stands for ground. And now we're taking the W sticker to label the white wire. We will do all this labeling of the wires before removing them from that black stuff. Which is going to require us to take the screws out. Now for the red wires, we're going to use the RH because they have RH, RH for the red, but they also have RC, which is the top part. And in this case, we don't have the top part. So we're gonna just go with RH label. That's it. Now we're gonna take out the screws from the black stuff. We're gonna use this very cool screwdriver that came with the kit. It's good to separate the wires, take them apart carefully and separate them wide apart. This was the RC part that was jumped up so we don't, since we don't have that, we we'll use the RH. Let's go ahead and unscrew the black stuff and then remove the white base. Now the base is off. So we'll be installing the steel plate and then the trim plate. Of course, this part will be facing you. And then that one. And the flat surface is going to be on the wall. So we are placing the flat surface on the wall at this point and carefully threading your wires through the big hole. We're trying to see if we can use the old hole, that way we're not drilling new ones. And then we will use the two long screws that came with the kit. We will also put the four short screws that came with it when we are done. We will try to tilt it correctly and then, you know, screw it and don't screw too hard. That way you can keep adjusting it and it will make it easier for you. So we are using this lever to check the adjustment, make sure it's straight and this looks perfect. And then you make sure you hand screw the nuts gently so it doesn't run too freely. It's time to install the trim plate. We'll go ahead and spread out the wires so it doesn't run inside when you know you're placing that trim plate. Also it'll be nice if they had bigger holes but they don't so we make use of what we have. At this point, we'll go ahead and 
you know, put the four screws on it. These screws will help hold the trim plate in place. Before you finish tightening the trim plate, the screws on the trim plate rather, we'll go ahead and use the level and you know, keep adjusting the trim plate in order to make sure it's straight and proper. So we are hand tightening it and adjusting it while we go. No using of drill at this time. Just keep adjusting and tightening it. Using the lever to check, make sure that it's straight. Now that's straight. It looks a little crooked and bended on the camera, but it's actually straight. We'll go ahead and screw the nut in completely or the screws in, tightening them completely. Pretty cool future, huh? At this point, we are ready to install the base. One pretty cool thing is that the base already came with its own built-in lever. So you adjust while you tight. So we're going to use the two big screws, one at the top, one at the bottom. But we're not going to tighten it too hard until we finish adjusting it. The lever we're using to adjust it is in the center. So now, this is the center. There you go. So far so good. This one is much easier. Like with C, when you push this down, you put the wire in there. With R, see when you push it down, you know, put the wire in there. You guys are gonna see how that goes, but well, that's why it's good to upgrade. <laughs> Keep upgrading. Like I said, we're gonna go ahead and install our wires. So we already level the wires, it's gonna be easy to connect. And like I said before, this thermostat comes. We're pushing connectors, which is a pretty cool feature or unique. Unlike the previous one that you have to use your screwdriver to take to screw it all out, you know, in and out of the wires. So this is pretty cool. So this is our yellow Y1. So we're gonna push in at the tip. It's in a hole. See that? It's not gonna come out. You have to tug it out a little bit to make sure it's not coming out. So there you go. That's a pretty cool feature. I like that. So now we're putting our G for ground to the part label G. You push down on the gray thingy, put it inside, and when you finish, you tug it out a little bit to make sure it's in place. It's time to put our red wire, which is the RH, into the part labeled RH. So push the thing, put it inside gently and then tug it. Make sure it's in place and tight and not pulling out. And now our blue goes into the part label C, which stands for common. Our blue wire goes in there. You do the same thing. And the final wire is the white color, which goes into the white part, as you can see. And now we are officially done. So at this point, we're going to go turn on the AC from the circuit breaker, of course, or the switch, so the thermostat can start working already. Voila. Okay. That's what it's doing. Please attach the, um, the display to its base. It's already on its base, bro. It's already there. Here it says to. We're gonna go ahead and set it up. Sorry about the long video, guys. So Nest app, language, and all that. I think I have. Let me check. I think I have my Nest um, Google Home app. I'm not sure. But let's go with the language. See, it's already in English. Just so that you know, you push it to select. You know, push to select. And you go back to 
equipment you push to see. Are you an S pro? Of course not. I'm homeowner. Select. It shows you everything. This is what it detected, and, and this for the fan, that's for the cool, W1 for the heat, and all that stuff. And then push to continue. Push to continue. Yeah. Anyway, so for the previous one, it's saying whatever system that that system that you have. So now, what is the first source of your heating? For me, it's gas. So I'll select that. What type of heating do you have? I don't even know. What type of heating? I think it's first air. And then it comes to next app. Next app. Select add to your account. You'll be able to control the thermostat remotely and use additional. Okay, if you want, you do more info and all that. So you just round and then entry key. Use the recent version of the next app to get started. Use an entry key, key out code. So I don't think I have any updates, but I will check right quick. Let me cancel it right quick. So already, lucky enough, I already have Nest app. I remember I used it for something. So sign in with Google. Now select my email. Okay, continue. It said you want to select what Nest can access. Use the data, blah, blah, blah. Click continue. And it's loading. And it has that which wow so it already has that it's all the home and all that stuff now add product so i think i'll go ahead and click add product like i have all my other stuff oh see scan qr code so this is where it brings out the qr code and just like this place says okay i'm gonna select here right quick and then it says the entry you see that's the entry qr code or cancel entry key so in this, um, for this one, I'm just going to do QR code, select, and then set up needs to use your location. Yes, please use app. So here I said install and set up a thermostat. For most of them, it takes 30 minutes, less than 30 minutes. We'll walk you through the process, blah, blah, blah. Start installation, blah, blah, blah. Install and set up a thermostat. I'm going to be like, um, already installed. Let's see if it's going to work. Even though some people say, okay, start installing it. So this is what I'm getting so far. I guess, okay, I guess they mean like, they will show you how to install this thermostat and all that stuff. Because if it's going to take 30 minutes, that means it's how to go. Click here, put this wire and all that, which you already did. So, connect to my, uh, what do you call it, my password, which I'm going to blur out. So, connecting to my password. It says connecting, setting up Wi-Fi. So it says it's finishing up. Let's see if it's gonna connect. And it's done. Add it to your account. Next. Where is this number start? So this is dining room, downstairs, entryway, family room, garage, guest room, hallway, masters. It's upstairs. I'm gonna go with upstairs. How to use auto schedule next uh-huh choose your eco temp um, thermostat blah 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 next i'm gonna read all this later so we want to cool in and then you're all done with setup follow steps on the thermostat you know display to run see even on my google home it says um it's already added so it just turned on the ac just turned on so next automatic automatically take advantage of cleaner energy whatever whatever you can pause and read it and then i'm gonna click got it automatic adjustment and all that so now you show it for this home and this is our wi-fi name so showing the name home name and that is 75 um, degrees upstairs okay so let me play with it a little bit i'm gonna tap on it and adjust it mm, i want it to be is it here oh okay so this arrow down and arrow up i want it to be 73 on the cooling See, outside temp is 83. This is really cool. Now, if you want the mode, this is the mode. If you want heat, cool, cool, heat, whatever you want to do, you just want it off. I turn it off. And then it says off. I want the eco, friendly, start eco, whatever it's supposed to do. Okay. So I guess it will regulate itself for you. Let me see what this one is doing. Let me see. Your thermostat is now configured to your system. Continue. Your system is ready to test. Test it now from whatever. Let's test it now. 
So it's the same thing it's doing here. We're doing cooling done. To protect the system, your thermostat will start the test in one minute. So in two minutes. So for now, let it do it in while I keep playing with this. So let's schedule. I want it to be in the midnight on Monday. Look at that. Monday, Tuesday, when is it? Monday through Friday, through Sunday. Maybe at 2 a.m. I want it. It's <laughs> just like that light. At 2 a.m. I want it. Mm -hmm. Let's click add. See what it wants it to be. At 2 a.m. At 4 a.m. Cooling schedule. So whatever it is. Then we click add again. So it's not am I supposed to type type anything? Anyway. You can play with this for the sake of this video. I don't want to do too much. Let's go ahead and do history. Come back tomorrow to see what the thermostat has been up to. That is pretty cool. And then next, um, fan. So the fan, run fan for the next 15 minutes. This is really nice. You really don't know what you need until you get one. So run the fan for the next 15 minutes or 30 minutes or whatever you want. The maximum is 12 hours. Maximum is 12 hours. And the other ones are, you know, and then I'm going to cancel. You know, that's just what it actually is. Let me try heat cool, see what that is. Regardless, I'm on eco mode. I can turn off the eco mode and whatnot. So delayed. So 68 is the lowest or whatever. From, I guess you want it to run between 68 and 75. That's what this means. And now it's 75. And I put it to set to cool, you know, to 72. So it's about to start itself in the next 15 seconds. I actually message. Message who? Exactly. I don't know. So the AC is on. It just turned on. Or the fan is on and then to start doing its thing. So you guys can see what it's doing. I don't know why it always goes down. So so in two plus hours <laughs> to get to the achieved, you know. And then when I click on house, you know, it shows me if you want to add product or whatnot. But that's basically it, guys. This video is already almost one hour. The home. Let me click on that. Let's go to the mode and put it on heat. Right, so you see it's showing me 68, whatever. So let's see. Let me set it to 80 something. That should be heat, right? And then go back. So whatever it is, it changes color. You show me upstairs, it's set to 83. So heat to set to 83. But I put it back. I just wanted you guys to see. Let's cool it down. I'm supposed to go back to mode, put it to cool, and put it on something. So, it will take its time, and then does it things. It tends. It tends. Bye. Thank you for staying so long. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Like, comment, ask your questions, and please subscribe. Bye. Thank you, Reliant. We do appreciate that because I really needed one that will work. I was already told that ours wasn't working, but I'm like, mm, later, later, later. Just like I need carbon monoxide detector. Please, companies, reach out, send us what I need. <laughs> Bye for real this time.